Hi, my name is Mike Montefusco with the National Weather Service. On behalf of the National Weather Service's National Wave Team, I'd like to discuss some exciting changes that are coming to our coastal waters forecast regarding how we forecast ocean waves. Offshore of the west coast, it's common to have a short period wave system from the north or northwest associated with high pressure over the North Pacific, along with longer period wave systems from the west, northwest, or south associated with distant storm activity. The same can be said for Hawaii, which has exposure to storms from all different directions that can lead to a variety of mid to longer period waves that coincide with the frequent short period waves associated with the local east to northeast trade winds. We've learned over the years that different mariners and users care about very different things. This brings the purpose of the Wave Detail Project into further focus, to provide the details you need so you know exactly what you're getting into before you venture out onto the ocean. For example, smaller boats, especially those with flat bottoms, may want to know about short period wave systems because they are quite rough, steep, and choppy. They may pose a greater capsizing hazard. Meanwhile, other customers may be more interested in longer period waves because they generate shoaling hazards near the coast and around inlets. Some mariners may care about all of these waves present at a given time. The point is, when you only provide significant wave height, it can be misleading given that there may be multiple wave systems out there with various heights, periods, and directions that are all occurring simultaneously. The new Coastal Waters Forecast with Wave Detail provides all of this wave information to the Mariner in one product. For more details and information, please visit weather.gov slash marine slash wave detail.